we return on our glorious journey through Valheim. I think the place is called Valhalla or something. I forgot. But it sure we'll find out soon enough. <clears throat> My particular world is called Cowton. Are you jealous? It's because meow meow I'm a cow. If you didn't know. Well, I'm actually a cat, but um, I may look not look like that sometimes. Because I can't show you my true form. Because that needs to be in episode 157. Then I will show you my true power. And then in episode 277, I go... Show you more power. You had no idea. Okay. I have arrived on the server. Oh god! I start out incinerated! Oh, indubitably precarious indeed. Alright, we're back at the night time. Where, uh, things are pretty treacherous. It's pretty much hopeless. And there's pigs all around me that attack me. They just run into me full speed. It's, it's a little obnoxious. Maybe one day they will be my pets. More likely, though, they are going to be my dinner. Overnight snack? Speaking of which... A little raspberry. Strawberry? Raspberry. Raspberry, one single raspberry seems to satiate my character well enough. Green eyes of the night. Who can it be? Holy, oh no, this guy's a fucking mage. Oh my god, I uh... I'm not supposed to be in that area yet. He's like a, oh god. <sighs> oh shit. No. Already? This is supposed to be a no death run. Well, there it goes. End everything. Fuck. Wow. Hello, are ya? I'm Hugan, you suffered a mortal blow. Each time you are struck down, you will forget a small part of your abilities and drop your belongings? Bullshit. At the site of the accident. If you wish you were home by now, I'd recommend building a bed wherever your home may be. Well, thanks a lot, Crow. A little bit too late. I'm in the middle of the night with no clothes. Jesus. Gotta go northwest here. Well. Yeah. Here I am. Here I am once again. It's pretty bleak. It's pretty hopeless. But we're gonna we're gonna press on. We have a fire in our heart. Oh God! The sounds. Oh no! More creepers of the night. Not real creepers though. What the? Wait, I crossed like a river? Oh, dude, don't at me, fingerling. Get your chode out of this mess. Nobody needs that. What rune stone? It's the same rune stone I've read before. Dude! I'm reading. I've already read this, but. Long ages passed. With the All Father Odin and Toy Oh, whatever. Overly pedantic. Well, I got, let me do a little roll to dodge this Grayling right here, because he kind of freaked me out. I just needed to do feel secure when I do lots of roll maneuvers. Yeah. Well, I can't do it because I don't have stamina. Great. Thanks, game designers. Oh, these guys are from Sweden. I just remembered it. That's cool. No wonder they want to make a game like Minecraft. All these Swedish designers. Uh, I know there's another game I'm trying to think of. A Swedish. I mean, you got PewDiePie. He's Swedish. Whatever. He's kind of a game publisher, I think. Game producer. He funds people to make games and he, I think he collaborates in design. Dude, it's already daytime? That's dope. Well, what do you know? I, I made it through the night. <laughs> Amazing. Well, no, I didn't. I died. 
Limfow. Do you need a bit of real life nourishment? Ah, wonderful mocha. Delightful. It's a ceramic mug with a top. So, a ceramic top. So it keeps, insulates the heat very well. Or the cold. Insulates whatever temperature you're trying to hold. <laughs> Mushrooms! Holy crap, that's Absolutely fabulous. I lost everything. But luckily, it's daytime. So these boars shouldn't be too much trouble. But this grayling is pissing me off. Actually, was the guy who killed me still around here? Okay, where's my stuff? Good thing I died near my this house. <laughs> I love just wa walking him wave his arms around. <laughs> Squeak like the boy! He's a maniac. Where's my stuff? Oh, okay. Where's my... There. Hey, dude! I'm eating raspberries. Stop it. It's me. And the boars, too? Dude, the pigs... They're super aggro. He's in the house! It's not my house. It's the pig's house. You live here? Oh, jeez. You're my neighbor, dude. You should be nicer. I'm going inside. Okay. Definitely safe and sound in here. Let's have a little sit. Did I get more wood? I have three. Dude! <laughs> it's not nice to. Did you just bang on my. Are you knocked on my door? What, what is it? What do you need? Why are you running away? What's the matter? Hello? Did you need something? Yes, I just roll all the time. It's not a big deal. Just I get uh, I get nervous when people get close to me. You look pretty nervous yourself. I think you need a light, bro. Need a light. I need a light. Dodge the the boar. Sweet. Let's try rolling. That's a good trick. So these black woods right here. So there, it's a biome. It's a different biome. It's a scary one. It's, a mob came from there that killed me. That shaman has a poison attack and a uh, a heal spell. He does. He, he and he heals other dudes. It's not nice. They have a little gray, graylings or a race that I, that you constantly genocide throughout the whole game. They are horrifying, so they deserve it. I got some coins. That's cool. Not really. Um, let's see. I need wood for a bed. It's just a little precarious in my hood, as you can see. Let me get some gangsters. I just gotta cl clear it out a little bit. I think I do need to kill the boar, but I either need stone. I need a little bit of stone, definitely, for an axe. And I gotta stay up the Blackwoods. A lot of, a lot of situations here. This is a stone. If I built a crafting table, I wonder if I can. Oh, with buildings, you can uh, de deconstruct them and, and get the resources. So it could be a, it's and it's an instant, instant deconstruct. So if I wanted some quick resources, but you need ten wood for a workbench. Yeah. And yeah, there's not a lot of wood around here. Ouch! Dude! Holy shoot, I'm getting annihilated. Guess I gotta fight the boar, huh? I got a club. And the grayling. Let's go. Oh, I took a hit. Actually, I'm in critical. Eh, eh. Oh, I could eat the mushroom. I could also feed the mushroom to the pig. And then they can, I can tame them, but it takes a long time. And they usually want need to be like trapped or hanging around. I can't afford them to be just hitting me all the time. <laughs> I told you I played this game before, right? <laughs> Oof. Whew. 
Just need a moment to heal. Just a second. Oh man. I'm getting annihilated by <sighs> beginner mobs. It's okay. I do have terrible stats, so. Yeah, this game has a really slow cooking uh, EXP system. And I lose EXP if I die, so I lost a tiny bit of the tiny bit that I had. Dude, this grayling is not l like, look at. I'm not liking how he's looking out here, strolling around my lawn. That's absolutely absurd. Get out of here, dude. In my house. Don't bring on my lawn. Little gnome railing elf thing. Okay. Revenge. That's a good strat. Going to the... Oh, yeah. Boars strafe like... They don't strafe, but they just, they do. Oh my god, there's so many pigs around here. But that's actually pretty good because pigs, pigs are important for early stuff. Hot dog, these pigs are <laughs> aggro AF. There you go, I can get some better stuff. But honestly, anything I don't need to s spend it on, it's worthwhile. Now, I would love to breed these pigs, since it can be hard to find them. But that would involve trapping them, and that would involve a few more fences. Like, this could probably be... wouldn't be that hard. Maybe that's a good idea. Huh. I really should probably do that. They're just giving it to me. They gave me most of the fence. Okay, so we'll avoid the boars for now. So we can trap them and then feed them, thusly taming them in the future. So my house is going to be a little hostile for a minute. I really need a freaking stone just to get a, an axe. This is a Minecraft. You can't make anything out of just wood. That would be a toy. This is hardcore survival. They are serious AF. find stones you have to KYS all right oh here's a stone yes okay I need four stones for the axe and I have one stone Wow gr8 see these are bigger stones but you can't damage them. I'll show you. See, this is zero damage. Set it. Oh, you scared me, dude. I thought something was threatening was behind me. No! Oh my god, I'm on fire! Why would you do that to me? Oh, took a dip. Well, don't bother me anymore, okay? And then I don't have to hit you again, so just leave me alone. If I only found a stone. Or deer. Oh man, I did some. St That's a lot of damage. <laughs> to quote the flex tape guy. Damn. You got away this time, deer boy. You have the power of Swib. Oh, I'm gonna flank you. Bro, this is elite League of Legends skills right here. This deer is also a little wayward and clumsy. See, this is part of the game where I question the ethics. I'm currently swimming into a lake to club a deer I don't know it's just I can't really describe what's wrong with it it just sounds so wrong come here old deer boy <laughs> damn th he, his, his swim stats are out of control he's OP nerf these deers swim stats please <sighs> well 
highly successful so far. Feeling accomplished. Because I found a stone. One no. stone! Jeez! This really is an inconvenient bottleneck. Not to mention the stamina stats. You got... I'm just watching you, dude. Don't be afraid of me. I won't club you. You just have some... F Whoa, dude! You're hanging out in the bushes? That's out of... That's so... Messed up. Try hard. Boar. Is this the same village? Yes. So... Maybe I could feel rested. I need a bed. Man. I need two more wood for a bed, so I might as well just... Punch some trees. Or smack them. Smack. Smack my beach up. It's a beach tree. Get it? Can I do damage to a... Uh... Oh, zero damage to the trunk. So I can only get these trees anyways. Man, it, I love... Did I, I already mention, but I'm, it's, it bears repeating. I love chopping down the bigger trees. Plus the audio in the last one was atrocious, but uh, you know you can dip in any time or if you I don't know who you are, it could be anybody and nobody. It's all good to me, dude. Don't hit my. Oh yeah, this is a level two boss. He's not a boss, but he's uh, he's got a mad at beard. He can look very boss like. Ouch! You know me claws hurt my face! Oy vey! Is this a stone right here? Oh, these guys give me stones? Wait, did I get a stone from a grayling? No, regular grayling stone. This guy might, though. If I die again. <sighs> I had to dodge in real life to dodge that one. Dang, I do like no damage. Oh, can I block? I can probably block, but sometimes it only blocks a certain amount. Oh, there we go. I gotta bait the shot, and then that's that's the tech right there. I do get stones from those guys. Honestly, at this point, that's that's my only choice option. Stones are like a super hard resource, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, that's a creepy little cave thingy. Uh oh, skeleton. Skeletons are pretty tough. Tough for me right now. No! No, 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 no. Skeletons can't go past doors, it's their great weakness. Yes! I made it. Yes, it had a door. Yes! Their chest? Ooh, look at that. I'll take it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is he a bowman? No. Dude. It's not my roof, so whatever. Oh, crap. Okay. We'll, we'll beat a skeleton. I forgot what you can make with bones. I think you can upgrade certain things. Come on. I really want a bow. I love... I'm obsessed with bows. One cool thing about this game is that you can see the uh, the wind with these little these little graphics. There's lines, but it gives you a sense of where the wind is to, to compensate when you're shooting your, your arrow. It's so cool. I really want to get a real bow. Like a real... And not like the plastic... Like... Modern bows. I want like a classic wooden composite bow, recurve bow. But I would have nowhere to shoot it. It's like a real weapon. You can see. I always wonder how how much damage an arrow actually does to a person. Because it probably doesn't kill you, does it? Like a gun would, can. Not necessarily does. It takes you out. It takes you down. Wow, I got tons of wood now. I need one more stone to make the axe. But, 
for later when it turns nighttime, I could definitely make this bed. This amazing bed made of... Yeah, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Is this a good place for a bed? With the window there, you know. It's really nice. Got a lot of ambiance. I probably don't need this chest. I could have taken away the chest for wood the whole time. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to make it right here because it's kind of my own option. Oh, headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and wake, feel wake and fresh and full of energy. What does he have on his chest? Another improvement to your home would be some chests. Multiple chests. Fair weather. Wait. Uh, where well you can store some items. It's good practice to always have some spare equipment. If something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. <laughs> Alright, creepy crow. Get off my bed. I'm trying to... Dude. Too exposed? Oh yeah, I need to make some more roof. So we do need a chest. So I'm going to leave this chest for now. Um, well, I've got tons of berries. I can't eat any more raspberries. Oh, I should actually repair all these. What's cool in this game is repairing things costs nothing. Yeah, you just click on it. And it's, well, well, repair. Repair you, repair you, repair you, repair you, repair that, repair this. One bad thing, though, is that they... Over time, things get damaged, or they get damaged for certain reasons that I don't understand exactly. All right, uh, it was a fixer-upper indeed, and I fixed it up. It is getting darker, so I should... How much wood do I have left? Six? I think roofing is actually quite cheap on resources. So let's see. You can do a 45-degree thatch roof here. Sounds about good, right? right, 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 right. I'm a, I am an engineer. I'm Bob the Builder on crack. Oops. And this... Something's wrong with all that. But maybe I can sleep now? Yes! <laughs> Very good. Once again, you run at the head of your warriors. The weight of your father's axe in your hand... I didn't read the rest of it. That's... Oh, we got the scary nighttime music going. Okay. We survived one night. Amazing. Um, well, that chest was pretty damaged. That's a lot of damage. Okay. We have a lot of flint. Can I make anything with flint? Flint axe. Oh my god! I just need a little bit of wood? This whole time? Why oh, am a boob? Hopscotch. Let's see. Uh, I just need how much wood? A flint axe is pretty good. And if I had more enough flint, I can maybe upgrade it. Is that enough wood? I should have paid attention. I think it was four wood. Something in this part of the song, that guitar, just reminds me of Final Fantasy X. But this violin is kind of like the, the big showman of the, the daylight theme. Alright, things are looking up in Yggdrasil. I don't know what Yggdrasil is. It might be the the world tree. I don't know anything. <laughs> okay, let's see here. This is looking good. Flint axe. And I can get a flint spear. But you know what? The axe is actually pretty good for fighting. Um, yes. 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 I should maybe save flint. Okay, that's really good. What do I need for a bow? Eight skins? Oh, that's so many skins. You kind of need a bow. Hmm. Well, we'll see. It would be nice to have some armors. 
which require a lot of skins. Five skins. You can choose to get pants or a tunic. They're the same. They're the same. In 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 this game. Except visually. Do you wanna wear pants? Do you wanna wear a tunic? Wait, I'm not wearing my tunic. <laughs> Lol. That's one armor you could have had. Shields are actually pretty good, I think. Four skins, ten wood. Hmm. Four resin. Yeah, the spear. You would think it had longer range, but it's actually pretty short range. In this game, it's like a fast attack. Uh, I would, right, is he damaging my house right now? Well, I can upgrade it for pretty cheap. Oh, I need a thing. Need a. Well, this is open. Uh, excuse me. I got this flint axe and my axe. Definitely, I think it does more damage. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, it's got some some heft to it. Finally, finally get some damage on those guys. It's awesome. Got some meat I need to cook before I can eat it. Which requires wood. But now I have an axe. Okay, now I can do my one of my favorite things. Chopping down trees, chopping down trees. Don't hit me, piggy. Don't hit me, piggy. I don't have another food. Okay, so how the food system works? It's pretty brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna decide which tree I need to cut down. You can eat up to three different foods at the same time. Try not to kill the pigs, as long as there's two. I mean, honestly, if there, even if there's one, there's value to that. Too many threads of thought, and I'm not gonna resolve any of them. Let's chop down some trees. Whoa, pig! Dude, I want. You could live if you just didn't attack me. I could hurt my house from here. Hopefully that will happen. It'll be kind of entertaining though. Look at that. So now it becomes like a different object. Oh. And it can damage other things when it falls down. It's so cool. It becomes like this physics object. And it becomes now two big logs. Yeah. And then we can chop those logs and get get the resource that is called wood. Oh no, this guy. What enemy is this? So there's different Graylings, Grey Dwarf. Oh, he's the same guy I just fought. Oh, it's because the Black Forest is spawning them. There's a, a one called a Grey, uh, a Brute. And he's pretty tough. He's like a big guy and he attacks really fast. Uh. This axe definitely is helpful for combat. Woo! I think I get hit. I can even cut down the trees to make a hit these guys. But because of my stats and everything and my food, quality of food, so you can only eat three food things at a time. And different foods give you different amount of, they last a different amount of time. They last, they recover, or they have different stats with recovering HP, your how much HP you can hold and how much stamina. So they're all variable in that. Let's see if I can actually look at them. We'll show it. So this is 10 health, 20 stamina, duration 600, and then the healing rate, one HP per tick. So they have a lot of different stats, but with mostly health and stamina. And you can only eat up to three, and they have to be all different. You can't eat the same thing. Right now I only have and my HP is the bottom left red bar. And yeah, only eating one raspberry is not very, it doesn't give you very much HP. Oh, Grayling. Why so timid, D, so? This tree could potentially, and trees can like fall on your building, so this could potentially, it just depends where it goes. Oh God, oh yeah. And it can fall on you. And it causes chain reactions. 
That's so cool. I love it so much. I can literally just do this forever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, dude. D who throw, throws the f whatever stone. Whoa, look, this rock. Such a noob. Damn. Well, I'm naked again. I got. I gotta survive these guys. Stop throwing rocks. Let me get my stuff first. Okay. Feeling frisky. Let me eat some food. Hey, one cool thing. You can access your inventory when walking. That's genius, isn't it? How come that's never been done before? You can sometimes get a double hit. Since you have a limited stamina, each attack and each dodge has to be considered into the, the grand scheme of things. That's why this is a hard game. Because you have stamina, it's hard. And there's logs and gratings with rocks. Oh yeah, to the face. How do you like that? Don't think you like it very much anymore, especially since you can't feel anything. Take my axe to the face and weep. Down goes the weasel. And he's got a star in his name. I think it means he's tougher. And he is. They leave like trophy, like, like their head or something like that. I don't know what I'm saying. Words. He's gonna hit me. I hit him first, and he died. How do you like that? <laughs> combat. I'm a combative genius. Okay, I want to collect these last bits of wood. Man, this flint axe is giving me a lot of. Mileage. So we're gonna try to observe stamina. You know, I personally do not like it. And it's a, it's a, <clears throat> it's a series of design ideas, tropes that I've been learning in certain games recently that are very comprehensive games that do things for the sake of being deep and comprehensive and detailed, but end up actually just being kind of inconvenient and annoying. So, trying to cost value those things about my own games. Because I've, I've wanted to make a very comprehensive, detailed game. Um, one that resembles things about this, I think, in some ways. And especially this other game that I want to play. Soviet Workers Republic. Or, Soviet Republic. Workers and resources is what it's called, and you can you can trade that around. But uh, I want to play that game too. But we're gonna end this episode here. You can tune in for next time for Valheim.